Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to a new episode from Quantum Leap. Today I am going to react to episode 7 and I didn't even know this but season 1 apparently only has 9 episodes. So it's not long until we reach the finale. And to be fair, I'm just really curious like did they in the beginning know they were gonna get more seasons or did they just only know about one season? Which would mean that probably in the end it would be solved, he would get back. But like, what are the other seasons about then? So that is something I'm, I'm really wondering about now. And um, yeah, of course, last week you saw that I mixed up some episodes. The previous episode you saw was recorded way back, like already after I recorded the pilot. But like I said, the episodes are pretty like standalone. So that kind of solved it luckily. Uh, but now we're back on track, the right episode, episode seven. And because I just added it episode six, I completely got a refresher of what happened. So uh, yeah, no problems there. <laughs> so this show is sponsored by a Patreon. Uh, and I want to tell you that if you have a show in mind or just one episode or a movie, you can check out my Patreon and there's options to request a show or movie. Uh, there's different tiers available. So you can check out which one fits best with you. And uh, there's also a possibility to see my full reactions to stuff. You can get early access. So uh, yeah, just check out the different tiers. The link to my Patreon is in the description. Description. And yeah, the last thing we saw was that he was with this mafia family. And in the end, yeah, he solved some good things there. These two people, they wanted to get together, but of course, Don Gino, he didn't want that to happen. In the end, he leaped into Don Gino, made it happen, announced it to everyone ever. And yeah, then he sadly leaves on. So uh, we're probably never going to see that back. But I would have loved to see the look on Gino's face if like he realized... Wait, what? I gave my blessing for this? But yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. To be honest, I forgot right now where he ended up last, but we're gonna see that now. So uh, yeah, let's watch this episode. If the truth be known, once I got into it, quantum leaping turned out to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so far, saved two lives, ball game, and a pig. Yeah. I fought, put together three couples, father and daughter, and the lyrics to Peggy Sue. The lyrics to Peggy Sue. <laughs> Bingo. I like this little recap. So where are we now? Whose shoes I'm wearing, and since I'm here and I'm hungry, how about something to eat? Looks very 60s. Apparently he's like a celebrity or something. Does he? Oh, who is that? There's gotta be some mistake. It's a mistake you'll ever make, boy. Red is rain, Billy Joe. Oh, wow. I thought he was a celebrity, but just because he's a black man and yeah, that's not tolerated there. Just take Miss Melanie's lunch and get before these boys lose what little control they have. Uh, lunch. Yeah, right. Oh, 55. Close. Oh, so that's got to be well, because now he's going to like experience racism, something he's never experienced before because he's a white man. Oh. Yeah, I feel like this is not gonna be easy. Know exactly where I was, but it was obviously too far south to be a black man. Yeah. Oh, how I went from such a positive thing like, oh, I think he's famous, and then it's just racism. Help a little old lady across the street. Or deliver this lunch to Miss Melanie. You left me standing here in all this heat, and all you had to do was pick up my egg salad at Miss Patty's. Mm. Why do I get the feeling this isn't going to be a good day? Car's open. Well, I didn't leave you standing outside in the heat because the car door was already open. I have told you to never leave my car unlocked. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he can't do anything right. And it just started. So he's like a driver? I was just wondering where we were going. Where, Jesse? I'm the one that's supposed to be old and senile. Did you drive? Miss Melly, you, you remember when I fell down and I bumped my head? Then I, I've had the damnedest time remembering. Good excuse. And secondly, you never told me a thing about your head. And third? She doesn't remember as well. <laughs> Go where we have gone every Saturday afternoon for the last seven years ah. to see John. I would be so nervous. Like, even if I know where I'm going, I still use my navigation because otherwise I just get stressed. And now it's like, yeah, just drive somewhere, even though you have no idea where it is, but you can't fail, you know? So now that I've sort of accepted being Jesse, I just have to figure out what I'm here to do. Charles is your husband. Jesse, are you losing your mind? My wheels on the railroad track. I hate to visit Charles when I get all flustered. Oh, it's a cemetery. Oh, aha. So her husband is dead. They promised me, Jesse. That they were going to 
clear these waves. Here, let me do this. Let me do this. There you go. You got your gloves all dirty. <laughs> No one is not being taken care of. I feel like she's actually probably just a good woman, but that she's just like super frustrated and sad about her husband, I guess. You lost Bo. It wasn't his fault. The Lord needed that boy to come home. It's hard losing somebody you love. Guess you know as much about that. Your Sally lost four, didn't she? Yeah, I guess we did. Charles always thought highly of oh, Sally. Sally. Him telling me there wasn't a finer Negro woman in Alabama. Mm hmm. Just gonna throw these in the trash. He didn't supply trash can public places, 50. Ah, <laughs> what is he wearing now? What do you think? Well, what do I think about what? I'm black. You're black, so? The possibilities are limitless. Don't you find that fascinating? <laughs> Dangerous. But like, you're not just leaping into people who look like you, right? Because what I'm just kind of thinking of now, I think how you look like doesn't really matter in like to who you leap, you know? But could he also like leap to a woman or something? I'm kind of wondering about that now because it got me thinking. Killed when her car was struck and demolished by a passenger train at that crossing. Ah. Cities are 86.7 percent certain you're here to save Scarlett O'Hara there from getting squished by a choo-choo. Aha. Uh -huh. What about Jesse? Was he killed too? No, Ziggy doesn't know. He's having trouble finding any data on Jesse. A birth certificate, a death certificate. Oh. Right? It's not uncommon for there to be no records for a southern black man in the 50s. Especially in a little burg like Red Dog. Yeah, sounds like a great place to be. The very first protest started right near here. Huh. How do you know so much about this? A lot of my friends are black. I don't believe you said that. Well, it's true. <laughs> sounds like the, yeah, but I have gay friends. <laughs> what if that's what I'm here to do? Get involved in the civil rights movement? <laughs> he was so proud, like, yeah. <laughs> that's why you're here. Save Miss Melody from being killed tomorrow at the Alabama and Pacific. All the way from California. Well, I don't know why anyone would want to go to a place as uncivilized as California. Clayton, you're early. I thought I'd come by and have a little talk with Jesse. You have the name you want to talk to Jesse about? Nothing that you need to fret about. We're just talking the kitchen. Ooh, Jesse. maybe there's another reason he's there. You upset damn near the whole town. The little business you pulled today. Oh. Business? I'm talking about you sitting down at Miss Patty's today. I was hungry, so I sat down to have some lunch. Now, why would you do anything so stupid? You got one of them uppity northern staying with you, Jesse? No, I, I... The 50s were so wild. How would you get such a stupid in your head? Like I said, I was hungry. You don't get that hungry. Because, like, literally what he says, like, yeah, I was hungry, it was a lunch place, I sat down. It sounds so logical, and it is, like, super logical. But apparently not back then, if you were a black man and you sat down in a cafe like that. So weird. Mama, we have to talk. Oh, that's the song? Whatever Jesse did at Miss Patty's, it don't make the least bit of never mind to me. I swear you got ears like a hawk. I don't need you to lecture me. I know who I was married to and I know the responsibilities that go with it. So they're like an uh, important family there or something? Be responsible. Forget the buttermilk. See, that's what I mean. I kind of feel like she's actually trying to stand up for Jesse in some way. Jesse! What's happening? It's just that Clayton gets so riled, bothered about things that aren't his concern. Feel a little dizzy? Watch my finger. What are you doing? I'm just checking to see if you're all right. When did you get a medical degree? Well, I'll thank you to please keep your colored voodoo to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes? I'm so proud of you. Is that his daughter or why? Because they were just talking about a wife and they lost four children, so maybe they had more? I don't know. That your Nell come to fetch you home? Nell. No. Probably his daughter then. Get on it tomorrow, first thing. I'll do that. Come on, Papa Jesse. You sitting down at Miss Patty's. Oh, okay. That's his granddaughter. Yeah, I mean, when he looked in the mirror, he looks a little older than, like, Sam actually is, so. It's about time somebody shook up the white folks in this town. <laughs> Remind them what century we're living in. <laughs> She's proud. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sit at that counter someday, and I'm a drink from the white fountain and ride in the front of the <laughs> bus and do all the thing making white folks mad. Is that why you want to do it to make them mad? Yep, and close is right. <laughs> you always drive so fast. I gotta get you home early so you can cook. Cook? Go and see Nile on me. You go and see Nile on me. 
Oh god. Can he cook? Taste as good as they sound. I never realized they were pig intestines. Ah. I don't care how many times you two clean them crazy before I eat anybody's shit and No offense, Papa Jesse. Oh, no offense taken. <laughs> I may have lost my taste for him myself. You okay, Papa Jesse? You're looking a little pale. <laughs> I'm just a little tired, that's all. Oh, L. Does L know the, the recipe? You're all chopped and ready, Papa Jesse. Be on your own. <laughs> oh, great. Hi, Mama. You're not gonna help. I promised Nell I'd help her finish her dress. If you shouldn't have volunteered, you didn't want to do it, Papa Jesse. Nice. Hey, don't worry about it, pal. I got a... Yeah, I just wanted to say, I think Al can help him with this. He's not. He's there for a reason. Every time Al shows up, it's in a moment of need. Green's cooking is a religious experience. I feel like the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> Brewing a potion. I'm trying to remember a recipe, and I can't even taste it. You taste the stock. Tell me what's missing. Are you crazy? Uh... as crazy as you are. People are gonna say they see you in here talking to yourself. It helps me uh, think while I'm cooking. Maybe you're being crazy. What happened to you today at Miss Patty's? Set down at her lily white counter, bold as you please. Don't Sam, want this family harm. Talk. Feel it's time for a bunch of rednecks to change some, please. The way they're both teaching him a lesson, and Alice so disappointed. At lunch so messed up. Needs a little more salt. Okay, good. Someone tasted it for him. Now he doesn't have to do it himself. You promised me you would lay low and then leap out. I didn't know I was black. And even if I did. I got a right to sit at that lunch count. 1955, you didn't. Well, maybe I should have. And maybe that's why I'm here. No, 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 no. Train wreck business, 96.2% certainty. I actually think Sam is right. I feel like it's way bigger. Well, maybe I could do both. But also, you wouldn't want to bring their family in danger. Because, of course, Sam is going to leap out of there. And then they're stuck with the mess. Because we're already following them. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Burning a cross on somebody's front lawn is mischievous, Sheriff. Maybe you should have thought about that. Top your colored butt down on a stool. What about Billy Joe and Toad? You leave my son to me. I plan to have me a talk. Oh. To yeah, like, for now, I'm just glad they didn't hurt anyone. Because I thought they were really, like, following them to beat them up or something. So now it was just that, but I feel like it's gonna get worse. He's gone too far. Not here. Yeah. And like, he probably doesn't even see that sign. I don't know what the logic was in the 50s. It's insane. Oh. Uh, the pipe is broken. I have to get a new one. I suppose it can wait till after tea. Jesse Tyler, what in heaven's name are you doing? You made tea for us, I joined you. Jesse, somebody has lowered the wind. What now? He's not allowed to uh, sit with her on the table? In the kitchen. No, I thought so. It seems like good manners to sit with you and share your company. Can't have tea with you, Jesse. Why not? Colors and whites don't eat at the same table. If you want to eat with me, who says you can't? I say I can. Why? Because it's the way things are. The way things have always been. Maybe it's time they changed. Yeah. Sometimes it's like so insane to me how dumb some people were back then it's like yeah but why is it that way just because it's always been like this like i feel like these days people think about stuff way better at least in my area <laughs> also the answers your parents used to give you when you were a kid like why is that just because it's like that that's an answer that's not really happening anymore right now at least that's just not a valid answer what you were talking is hogwash nobody's gonna change the way things are but they will blacks are gonna unite blacks that's what we'll be called. And God's name's wrong with being called a dick. <laughs> I've never used that word, Jesse. Not to your face or behind your back. Oh, so that was like not okay to say already back then, but the other word was fine. Somehow slipped your mind. But now I think you've gone just plumb crazy. I've gone crazy. I'm not the one burning crosses in the front of people's homes. No, no, you just got to wait. How Oh no, are they gonna do something to the granddaughter? Toad, we ain't gonna kill him. Whack him back into place a little bit. Oh, and then they think it's gonna be him. <gasps> no! Oh, please tell me she's gonna be okay. You literally pushed 
her car off the road. And you're like, wow, they can't even drive. The, change can the logics. And you can make the difference around here. If you change, so might some of them. I feel like she's actually trying to listen, but she just feels like she can't because that's like said just how things are around here. Go to town and get a new pipe. I'll get my pocketbook. No, no, you can't. It's too hot today. Start to pack pharmacy and get some things. I'll get them. They're personal. I, I think that I can fix that leak. All right, I'll drive myself. No. If you're that set on going, I'll drive you. Even though we were driving away from the tracks. Oh, this was the day that would happen. Oh my lord, isn't that Joe Willis's car? Alright. I've got to stop the hemorrhaging. No. Oh. I think she's gonna be okay though, because like he said, he has medical experience, so I think that's gonna come in handy now. Oh Jesse, there's so much blood. We gotta get her to a hospital. Hurry, Jesse! <laughs> Why do I feel like the train thing is still gonna happen somehow? Where you going, Jesse? The hospital on the other side of the cemetery. That's a white hospital. Which is closest? The Gaga won't take her, Jesse. Hell they won't. Oh my god. Or oh, the, the crossroad. I don't know, man. Okay, okay. Oh, I would be like super nervous to cross that right now, knowing what was actually supposed to happen. I don't know how much like further away. Lost a lot of blood. I think she severed a temporal artery. She'll need a transfusion and a... We don't accept colored hair. Sorry. It would be a hell of a lot sorry if you don't help me, and I mean right now. I can't help her. It's against the law. The hell with the law. Aren't you Delia Parker's son? Yes, ma'am. You know who I am. I want you to help that child. Slay. See, I knew she was gonna do something good. She has been listening to him. Get her inside. Okay, it was in the end, only she needed to say something and then it was fine. But I was just thinking like, I don't know how much further the other hospital would have been, but I feel like the fight of actually getting her in there was gonna take longer than driving to the other hospital, but it's fine now. I, I hope she's at least getting the help she needs now and fast. Yeah, crossings that way, you go that way. You're getting a little paranoid. How do you think I live this long? Yeah, I wonder how this is going to happen then. You always have a bad feeling. I knew it, Sam. I knew <gasps> Are they gonna arrest her and the train is gonna bump into that car? He's the one, Sheriff. All I did was bring a girl here, medical assistance. Breaking the segregation law, Jesse. What was I supposed to do, Sheriff? Just let her bleed to death? No, uh... I reckon not. With just a few simple words, he can just like make them realize that everything they're doing is so fucking stupid. And they're still like, yeah, but that's just how it is, right? On, on one condition. Don't let Miss Melanie leave here, even if she wants to. 20 minutes. Uh, half hour. You got that, Ethel? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sure, you'll get arrested. At least the, the kid has the medical help now. Maybe if they would have driven, drove to the other hospital she would have uh, made it Jesse, Nell's gonna be just fine ah uh, oh, thank god okay great sheriff arrested him pig butt here turned them in he's gonna have to arrest me oh they wouldn't do that sheriff Blount said you was to wait here did he yeah she's not gonna do that he's in for a surprise she's gonna chase him now oh, oh. oh I take that back no you can't do that Miss Melanie Miss Melanie oh god Sam you have the car keys in your pocket nope because last time he also didn't uh, we got a problem here she can't hear me I honestly feel like the train thing is supposed to happen but there's something all else he's gonna fix maybe saving Nell's life I don't know Miss Melanie stop 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 See, I was right about her from the beginning. And yes, she's making some rude comments, but the thing is that she doesn't know any better, but she's trying to learn, and that's something I can already really appreciate. Uh, reverse, you'd be better off in reverse. As long as we get there. <laughs> better late than, than never. never. I want to be never, Miss Melanie, unless you stop the car. Hmm. Ringing. But she literally can't hear him, right? So what is he even trying? Huh? Thank you, Charles. She can hear him? She thinks it's Charles talking to her? Oh she had to have heard me. Straight out. Just think of the possibility. Then maybe I can reach other women. <laughs> Younger women. 
Oh God. Is sex all you ever think about? Well, except when I'm pulling you out of the fire, yes. Huh. Interesting life, I guess. Ziggy finally came up with some data on Jess. He's still alive and on our time. The guy must be, I don't know, 105 years old. That's Isn't great. that a kick in the butt? That's great. Why am I here? I'm, I mean, Miss Melanie's alive. Maybe he is actually there for the protest. Well, maybe we're gonna find out. Wait a minute, drop the shot. That's you. How's Nell? Says so she's gonna be just fine, don't you worry, huh? She told him how this uh, accident happened. A couple of boys, they sort of run her off the road. They didn't mean to hurt her. Nothing. Oh, they, they didn't mean it, so then that's fine. Maybe they thought you were in that car, Jesse. I mean, you have been acting mighty strange around here lately. Maybe they just wanted to... To what, Sheriff? Maybe teach me a lesson? Why they gonna be uh, bothering you or any of yours again? Give you my word on that. Not good enough, Sheriff. It's going to happen. Now, I'm telling you, them boys are sorry. She could have died. Parks and Martin Luther King. I are said all I'm saying. Montgomery boycott. Get on out of here, Jesse, before I change my mind. Go on. You're going to have to change your mind about a lot of things, Sheriff. I'll see you, Al. <laughs> Now Al is in prison, but he can just walk through. I feel like this episode is like almost over and he still hasn't done what he needed to do. Glad to see you got home safe. No thanks to you getting yourself arrested. If it was up to me, you'll be in jail. Not up to you. Mm-hmm. Tell him. My relation, Mr. Tyler, is my business. Now you go mind yours. See you for supper. Sometimes I think we switch babies on. <laughs> <laughs> Not about Clayton. I thank you for doing what you did for Nell. Glad to do it, Jesse. And she's doing fine. They moved a divider this morning. Moved her? She was in critical condition. Could have killed her. And she's fine with her own people. That is the way it's supposed to be. <sighs> I thought there was some progress going on here. And let things get back to normal. How can your life go back to normal? Can't have done what you did without it opening your eyes. The fact that the world isn't just. I knew that. My knowing it doesn't change it. You changed it yesterday and you can change it today. And change the world. You're welcome to it. And he will. I think. If you want to work for me, we will close this conversation forever. Then he quits. Go over to Miss Patty's, pick up my lunch. Once you've seen the light, you cannot go back into the darkness. Get my eggs out, Jesse. Please sit down again. It reminds me of a scene from uh, Umbrella Academy where Allison and Ray uh, and like this whole group, they also did this protest and they all just sat down there every day. I think that was a really powerful scene as well. Melanie's lunch, Jess. I guess I am. Never mind, Jesse. I decided to eat it here. Yeah. Just fine, ma'am. Oh, she's actually gonna do it. Oh, Jesse, will you join me for lunch? Sit down. I really can't understand how people get like so mad for a black man sitting down there. The way the guy instantly was like standing up, like feeling he had to do something about it. Like, how is this bothering you? Okay, I think this is what he was meant to do here. Oh, chills. <laughs> yep. Uh, shit, what's going on now? Is he like a teenager? Oh god. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this show gets better every episode. I'm just enjoying it more every episode. It really is such a good show. Okay, so in the end, um, yeah, of course, during the episode he was talking about, yeah, maybe I have to start like a revolution and all. Um, but in the end, all he was there to do was just to make this one woman see that it's not okay how it is right now. And of course, Al also said the thing about Martin Luther King and in like four months they were gonna do stuff. So like there was already a lot in motion. It isn't his job like as an individual to change the whole world. That's just gonna take a lot more, of course. But I think in the end, it was just really nice that he got to, yeah, make this one woman see that this was not okay and also because of her help more people like in the end for example you see the son of the sheriff instantly standing up instantly wanting to do something about it and the sheriff being like sit down okay so like it are really small steps really small things but there's already stuff changing there and i think that yeah it was really nice to see that he sort of yeah put that in motion now even though it all started because he didn't know he was a black man and he had no idea a black man couldn't sit down at that diner. So it kind of all started accidental. And just like 
appearing somewhere, leaping somewhere in his case, and instantly being discriminated against because of a simple thing as like sitting down at a lunchroom. Yeah, of course that's gonna annoy you. Of course you're gonna wanna do something about that. And uh, yeah, I think that was just a really nice episode. And also what I always notice about this show is like it's an early 90s show, like uh, 89, early 90s. Um, but that it's already like so progressive and like really focusing on important matters. And at first I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna watch this fun show about time traveling. But we've seen some pretty like serious subjects up to now. Like for example, a lot had to do with like women's rights, uh, especially the, the one episode on the farm that it was like so insane that she had to marry a man and only in that way she could like run the farm together with him and all that sort of stuff. And I feel like he already opened some eyes there. And now this whole episode, like around racism, I think it's just like, it's really teaching you something as well. It's not just fun time traveling show. And even though it's like early nineties, which right now is like long ago again, even though when I say that, that sounds messed up because I was born in the nineties. I uh, call myself a nineties kid, but I lived for exactly three and a half months in the nineties, <laughs> but still it, it sounds pretty messed up when I'm like, yeah, the nineties is so long ago. <laughs> but yeah, I sometimes just kind of try to compare that with, with how it is now. And the thing right there is he goes back from like the nineties to, um, for example here, 55, how the people are like, what? You're not just gonna change the world like that. And they have like these really absurd ideas about certain things. And then in the 90s, a lot of that is already like way better. Of course, still not where it needs to be as it still isn't right now. But a lot of stuff is already like, yeah, progressed. And then you think like, if you look at now and back to the 90s, then we're also like, oh, but then there were also still some pretty messed up ideas, uh, for example, about trans people or homophobia, stuff like that. To be fair, that also, I feel like there was a lot of progress, but right now uh, people really aren't doing that well anymore. So I hope there's gonna be some improvement on that soon. But then I'm just trying to think like, okay, now we're in 2024. In like 20 years, there is gonna be things where we're like, it was so crazy that we thought like that back then. Yeah, that's just so crazy to think about. And like for us right now, it's so logical, like the people, back then and we're like, why are you acting like that? That's messed up. But those are the same people who are now like, no, and this shouldn't happen. And that's just how it is and how it's always been. And you can't change the world. And that's why I personally always try to keep an open mind to everything. Even if there's like stuff changing, I don't even know anything about right now. I am always willing to listen and just learn, you know? And I think that that show, I feel like this is going very deep what I'm all saying right now, but this show really makes me think about that. And especially because it is a show that has come out like 25 years ago and that he leaps back to even 30 years before that, because it's just with the timing and all, and it really just makes me think. So um, yeah, it's, it's a really good show. Honestly, like I said before, not what I expected when I started watching it, because the pilot it was okay, but I didn't feel too much for it. And honestly, ever since the like third episode, because one and two was pilot, um, it has been so interesting. And every episode just brings you new like insights. So that's really cool. And I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the next episode. From what we saw, he looked like a teenage looking boy. So I, that's also something we, we haven't seen yet, him being like a way younger person. Mostly he's like an older person. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what that's going to bring. And uh, if you want to see my full reaction to this episode, then uh, you can check out my Patreon. The link's in the description and there's the uncut reactions here. And if you subscribe to that, you can see my full reactions to Quantum Leap. And if you like this episode, then please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, then I really hope to see you next time. Bye.